I was on Tumblr last night and I came across a post that said something along the lines of stop glamorizing mal that the daydreaming and that if you glamorize it or if you say like good stuff about it then there's no way you're a real mal that the daydreamer and that you know this is a serious illness and all this stuff like oh don't talk about it like this you know this is something that people are trying to stop doing and i'm like but that's not true for everyone so i would just like to explain some reasons why i actually like being a mal that the daydreamer first of all it's basically all i've ever known I've been a maladaptive daydreamer since I was like, as long as I can remember. So like five, four, around that time, like around the time you're starting school, which brings me into my next point. It has helped me get through kindergarten, all of elementary school, all of middle school, all of high school, all of college, and now work. I mean, not as much as work because, you know, you actually have to work, but still, it definitely helps get through all of those so when people say don't glamorize it I'm like but it did help I know that there are some people who say that they have it but don't so when they think of it they're like oh pretty daydreams and this is great and I love it and I realize that those are the people that they're trying to you know target those are the people they're talking about when they say don't glamorize it but there are some people who do have mouth that they're daydreaming who don't mind it so much you know not everyone is like trying to stop it because I would not like to stop actually and I do realize that for some people it does interact with their lives and they can't like do anything because of it. But that's not, that's not the case for me, I guess, because I've had it for as long as I can remember. I know how to like, either that or I'm delusional and I think that I'm better than I am because I don't know anything better than this. Like I don't know anything more than this. So it could be that, I could be delusional. I could be like all the people who say that it's interfering with their life, but I just don't see it at that because I've always had it. Or it doesn't affect me the way it affects other people. Like I'm able to integrate it into my life and I'm able to still do things, even though I don't do much. Maybe that's why you know, I don't do much anyways. So it's not really into like, what is it affecting? My time doing nothing? <laughs> I think I did speak about this before, but I'm like, if there was a way to like, just like, like a magic pill or something to like magically stop and to like never do it again, I don't think I would take it because I'm much, 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 much too attached to this world I created. Like, I couldn't let them go. There's no way I could do that. So while for some people it actually affects their lives in, in a negative way, I feel like it affects my life in a positive way. Like, I don't know how I would have been able to go through all of schooling, like the whole from the beginning to the end. I don't know how I would have been able to go through all of that without it. Like, it seriously, honestly got me through all of those school years, all of it. And now even through work. So that while I get what they're getting at, which is like, you know, don't glamorize an illness, you know, don't like, and for the people who are saying that they have this and don't, you know, stuff like that, that's what they're getting at. But it, it's not everybody that doesn't want it. Like there's plenty of people who are happily happy being mad at daydreamers. Like also just how, like to prove how much I love my daydreams. Since I started working, I haven't been able to like do it as much because I've been working a lot. Usually like it was all day because I'm in school and I can do whatever I want when I was in school. But now I'm working, so like I actually have to pay attention to what's going on. I can't be like spacing out, doing whatever. And I actually really, really miss the amount of time I would spend. I mean, by now I'd say on average, maybe like three or four hours a day, but like I really actually missed all the amount of time I was able to spend on it before. Also, I think there's nothing wrong with people finding like the goodness in whatever this is. Like, I see no problem with that. Like people that find like the goodness in like their anxiety or their depression or whatever. There's some people who actually like find something about it. So, or like, you know, people that make light of it and make jokes about it. Like however you cope with it is wherever you cope with it. If people want to talk about it, if people want to glamorize it, let them do their thing. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm not talking about like big companies glamorizing this or people that don't have it glamorizing. I'm talking about how people who have these things cope with what they have. They're allowed to cope with it in whatever method they feel works for them. And I get that if someone's like, doesn't like this and they go on the website and they see some people talking about it, like it's normal or people talking about it, like it's something that they like, that can be problematic for them. So unfollow those people. Don't tell these people how to feel about what they have is all I'm getting at. Because I think I believe what it said was some was it said, um, you know, this is not it's not fun, you know, it's not, you know, you don't like this and I'm like, I do like it and it actually is fun, but that doesn't mean it's not real. Like that doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that I'm like some pretender saying that I have something that I don't, just because I find enjoyment in it. 
is all.